Hi YouTube and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm so excited because I just received a 1080 Ti video card. Those things are a beast. They can mine, I don't know, $8 a day each. So I decided to grab a few and test one of them in my test bench. But for this kind of card, you need a bigger power supply. So I also have a 700 watt power supply already installed in there. Before we start, I want to thank our sponsors for today's video. IoT Chain is also called ITC Token. It's based on the Ethereum platform. It's designed to solve security issues when it comes to remote accessing devices and equipment such as smart home, but it's also designed in the future to be able to safely control industrial use such as manufacturing. There's only gonna be 100 million tokens available for sale. You can check them out right now at iotchain.io. I recommend big power supplies for this kind of card because this beast can take up to 300 watts or more. And we're gonna test out NiceHash because they actually paid me after their hack, they fixed things up and now they continue to pay. So I decided to stick with them and use them for now. I'm also gonna show you how to use Ethereum if you don't wanna use NiceHash and you wanna mine on your own pool, I'll also show you how to do that. Now let's go ahead and install the video card and see how it goes. Let's go ahead and unbox it. comes with some CD and instructions. I might use that for the drivers. Turn, turn, turn. 1080 Ti. Wow. This is a nice protective foam we have here that's anti-static as well. Carefully pulling it out. That's a heavy card. Wow. That's a full-size card. Heavy as hell. And it has... Oh, those are nice. Look at those. I don't know what are those, but... They're really cool chip covers or some sort. And there is also a back, a backboard, which I really, really like those backboards. Video cards, it shows that it's uh, very rigid and it's designed to last. So I like it a lot already. And we have some ports here, which I don't really care about. Um, as you know, I don't kind of play games with it. Sorry gamers, no video games for this guy. Remove before use, okay. And it also says that the fans will not spin if you are not using it. But because we are mining, those fans will go full speed all the freaking time. <laughs> so yeah, this is some um, adapters here that uh, that you might need to use because this is a uh, it needs an eight pin. And if you have a six pin, you might need those um, in order to power this guy. So uh, we'll see what which one I have on my video card. SLI connection here, which not really useful for mining, but this is more for like gaming. And the two uh, PCI power ports, the eight pin and an eight pin. And heavy card, great, that's it. All right, so all we have to do now, because the computer is already assembled and I have a video of how to make one of those computers, uh, I'll leave a link below for a video how to build a computer from scratch. All you have to do now is just plug in the, the video card in your computer, make sure there's space, and uh, those are the power connections. As you can see, there's an 8 pin and an 8 pin, 6 plus 2 and an 8. Actually, it's a 6 plus 2 and a 6 plus 2, which is perfect because that's what I need. This is how you can tell that this uh, power supply, the 700 watt power supply, is compatible with this because it has the right connection. That's one of the signs that it's actually the correct power supply for this card. Time to install it in the computer. Wow. All right, this big boy is in there. Make sure there's no cables that interrupt the two fans right here so it can run smoothly. I'm gonna go ahead and install a screw to hold it in onto the motherboard so it doesn't move around. Now for the connection, we have a six plus two PCIe power port. So we have one over here. And then another one. Make sure you align it ahead of time with this little plastic. You can see here that's how it's aligned. And then put it in, it'll be much easier that way. So that's it. Let's install some NiceHash software and some Ethereum console and see how we can start mining on this beast. 
All right, so our computer is all ready to go. And all we have to do now is make sure that the video card is in there. And it's in there because I already have the drivers. If you don't have the drivers, go ahead and download them from NVIDIA website. And pretty simple, that's it. To mine Ethereum, all we have to do is go to etherminer.org and scroll down a little bit. And then go to the window builds for the Etherminer. And then I download the newest one, this guy right here. Once I download it and I unzip it on my desktop, I copied and pasted all this text, which is the information you have to put in into the ETH miner to be able to know where to mine to. All you have to do now is open it up and create a new .bat file. You can do that from opening a notepad and then creating the file here and then save it as a .bat. Once this is done, it will look something like this. And then you just have to change the uh, address to your address, the wallet address, dot your worker ID. So then you know which one is which. And then uh, change the G to U because you're mining on GeForce. So you have to put U and for NVIDIA. If you're mining on AMDs, you change that to G. Once that's done, you just click on mine and you wait. It takes about a couple of minutes to uh, the mining to start because you have to upload the DAG file which is basically the history of all the Ethereum that ever been created, every Ethereum transaction ever created. You have to download that to the video card and only then it start mining. So as you can see, it start mining right away, uh, pretty fast actually because the speed of the memory on that video card is super fast. So we're gonna wait a little bit to see what's the top speed it's gonna reach on mining Ethereum and we calculate how much it's gonna make mining Ethereum exclusively on this 1080 Ti. So we waited a little bit and it's doing about 28, 29 uh, mega hashes per second. All we have to do now is just Google Ether Mining Calculator, go into the website and then punch the numbers in to see how much money we expect it to make. So 28 and then we expect it to make about $3.39 per day when we are mining exclusively Ethereum. And that's not that great. Um, so that's why we're going to use NiceHash. So let's go ahead and download NiceHash, which is pretty simple. You go to NiceHash.com and you click on sell and download. And then you're going to go to NVIDIA because that's the video card you have. You're going to go ahead and download the NVIDIA one. So now that's done downloading, we're going to go ahead and install NiceHash. So once you install and open NiceHash, you have to add your wallet and your worker name so you know which one it is. This one is actually a 1080 Ti. So that's gonna be the name of this uh, particular NiceHash miner. And you're gonna click start. Now the first time when you're gonna start NiceHash, it's gonna do a benchmark. It's gonna run all the algorithm that existed right now, all those different altcoins, and figure out which one is the best for your video card. So let it run, it might take a few minutes, but it is worth it. And then let's wait and see which one is the best one to mine at the moment. It will switch around, you know, as the prices go up and down between coins to mine different algorithms. So updating the drivers, that actually helps a lot to get much more efficiency and much more power out of your GPU. And after I upgraded the NVIDIA graphics card, I, you know, we waited for the benchmark for NiceHash to finish. And now we're going to click start. Let's see how much money we can make per day and per month for the 1080 Ti in 2018. So here it is, as you can see, it's $7 per day. I actually saw it jump to $10 sometimes. So let's say between 10 to $7, between $300 to $200 a month, easy on a 1080 Ti. That's not even with overclocking, which I'm not gonna do because it's already taking a lot of power. So let's check how much wattage this video card takes, how much it costs per month to run a video card. I pay 10 cents per kilowatt hour. Make sure you calculate with your own numbers because every place charges different. So let's go ahead and check it out. How much power the 1080 Ti takes. So I tried to use this uh, Belkin watt meter, but it stopped working. I guess that's why it's not for sale on Amazon anymore. So to calculate it, it's pretty easy. This video card takes about 250 to 350 watts. So that's about 25 to $30 per month make sure you add it up to make sure you're still making profit. Now, this calculation is based to 10 cents per kilowatt hour, which is my area, that's how much I pay. Make sure you calculate with your area how much you pay per kilowatt hours. So I added up all the items that I have in this computer. It's about the same equipment. Maybe you'll be able to find a little cheaper components and maybe save a little bit of money. So we have eight gigs of RAM. I did notice that 
8 gigs are needed. When I put 4 gigabyte, I have some trouble with some scripts. So use 8 gigabytes or more on your rigs. I have 60 gigabyte SSD. You don't need more than that. You're just installing Windows and nice hash or whatever mining software we have a basic case any case would work 700 watt power supply we have a basic cpu that works with the lga 1151 which is the newer versions i like that because they last longer and it's kind of like bulletproof you know so you can go with like ddr3 like older cpus but i trust those cpus because they're newer and they last longer and also a basic motherboard and the 1080 ti which is 850 here i managed to buy it for 740 bucks i got lucky about 1200 bucks total it takes about five months to pay back by buying all this equipment but you do have to invest 1200 bucks i think it's kind of cool because you're getting a cool gaming computer you know just upgrade pay a little more to upgrade your cpu to like an i7 and you actually have a beast computer not just for mining for whatever else you might need for the future as you can see this is an amazing card it can make between eight dollars to ten dollars a day that's like almost 300 bucks every month that's just a lot you know it's uh for a card that costs between 700 to 900 bucks it can get you money pretty quick and have an amazing piece of technology in your hands maybe for free in a few months I absolutely love this 1080 Ti. It's super quiet, it doesn't take too much power, but the performance are absolutely amazing. I think you can compare it to a 1080 or 1070, it can do almost double of those. So it's just an amazing numbers and they're really nice piece of equipment. They're also kind of like uh, future proof because the 11 gigabyte of GDDR5 will let you run, you know, if it's Ethereum, you're gonna run it for many, many, many years until you reach that size of DAG file there's a possibility that in the future some altcoins will also need this kind of amount of memory so it's a very very useful thing to have all this graphics card memory available for you to use I'm also gonna do a giveaway with this video as well a Bitcoin cash giveaway all you have to do is share this video and then comment below where you shared it don't forget to click the link below for the Idanabara forum which is my forum where you can go in and can discuss about this video card or where you can buy it or how to mine it and we have a really good discussion there you can go in and register it's free and it's fun and don't forget to subscribe if you're a new person who never subscribed before I make a lot of videos about mining and Bitcoin and cryptocurrency all the time if you like this video go ahead and hit that like button and I'll see you guys on the next one bye bye